हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल रूल्स ओबीड बाय एस्फेरिकल मिरर फॉर इमेज फॉर्मेशन वी हैड सीन ऑल टूगेदर फोर रूल्स नाउ वी सेल यूज दीज रूल्स टू फॉर्म इमेजेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ एस्फेरिकल मिरर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सेल एक्सप्लेन इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाय कल के मिरर देर आर टोटल सिक्स केसेस फॉर इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाय कल के मिरर एंड वी सेल सी दैट द नेचर पोजिशन एंड मैग्निफिकेशन ऑफ इमेज चेंज ड्यू टू द चेंज इन ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस दैट इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द मिरर सो इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाय कल के मिरर फर्स्ट केस Suppose this is a concave mirror. Concave mirror. This is pole. This is center of curvature. This is principal axis. So in first case, if the object is at infinite distance, if the object lies at infinite distance. Finite distance that is very far distant object. So, in this case, rays of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection meet at a point on the principal axis. So, suppose object is at infinite distance. at in finite distance then the rays coming from this object after reflection from concave mirror meet at a point on the principal axis and this point is what focus so what we see here the position of image is at f that is at focus so position of image position of image each at focus of the mirror it is real and inverted also it is point size point size that is very small now second case one by one we shall see six cases according to the changing distance of the object from the mirror so in second case suppose this is a concave mirror this is our pole this is center of curvature this is principal axis now if the object is beyond c beyond c so we shall see that we always use any two rules which we had discussed in our previous class so first of all suppose this is object a and b a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection pass through its focus pass through its focus and the rays of light passing through center of curvature passing through center of curvature. second ray we take from center of curvature center of curvature so we had already discussed that the rays of light passing through center of curvature after reflection retraces its path so what we see so we see that the real and inverted image of the object is formed 
in between C and F of the mirror. So here we see this is here for position A, B, this position A in inverted image is A dash and B dash. So here what is the position of the object? Object is beyond C and position of image the image is point in between C and F in front of the mirror it is real inverted and diminished dear students one thing is very important here you will see that in all these six cases what will be the distance of the object what will be the distance of the image nature and position is already tabulated in table 10.1 see here it is already discussed in table 10.1 that is in first case C position of the object at infinity position of the image at focus C at focus and size of the image highly diminished size of the image highly diminished and in nature real and inverted real in inverted so now I shall not write all these things just I shall retrace images and you will see all the informations are given here in table 10.1 from position 1 to position 6 so now see case number 3 case number 3 in third case if the object if the object is at C, C, this is our concave mirror, this is pole, this is center of curvature, this is our principal axis, and suppose this is focus. If the object is at C, so object A, B is at C, we take one line parallel to the principal axis. After reflection, this ray passed through focus. Passed through focus. And we take another ray passing through focus. Passing through focus. So what happens? After the reflection, it becomes parallel to the principal axis. So in this case, the image of object AB is A, A dash B dash. So what is the position? Position is at C. Object is also at C. Image is also at C. What is the nature? It is real and inverted. And what is its size? It is same size to the object. So during solving any numerical, if it is given that the size of image is equal to the size of the object then you will explain or you will consider that the image and object both are at the center of curvature at C. Now case number 4. Case number 4. In this case we shall see is a concave mirror. Suppose this is pole, center of curvature. This is principal axis, that is line joining center of curvature to the pole. Suppose this is focus of mirror. Now, if the object is in between C and F, object is in between C and F, this is the position of the object. Once again, we take a ray parallel to the principal axis and after reflection this ray passed through its focus pass through its focus
another ray is taken passing through center of curvature and we have already discussed that rays of light passing through center of curvature after reflection retraces its path so these two rays really meet at this position and the real and inverted this is a dash b dash the real and inverted image of the object is formed beyond c and this image is magnified so this is the first case when magnified image of object is formed with the help of concave mirror now case number 5 suppose this is concave mirror this is our pole this is center of curvature this is principal axis one trend is here dear students as we bring the object closer to the mirror then what happens image moves away from the mirror and size is also increasing gradually so in this case it is magnified now this is set of curvature this is focus so if the object is at focus at f so this is the position of the object now we take one ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection this ray passes through its focus and another ray is passing through center of curvature and we know already that the ray passing through center of curvature after reflection retraces its path so what happens in this case in this case these two reflected rays are parallel to each other and according to geometry we know that parallel rays meet at infinite distance at infinite distance at infinite distance so in this case the image is formed at infinite distance this image is real inverted and highly magnified and in last case that is in sixth case you see this is our concave mirror this is pole this is center of curvature this is principal axis this is focus now if the object is in between focus and pole of the object this is very interesting case suppose this is object ab so once again we take a ray passing through center of curvature center of curvature and this ray after reflection retraces its path and second ray incidents at pole and owing the laws of reflection this ray is reflected in this direction here angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection what we see here we see here that these two rays diverge that is distance between these two rays increases so really it is not possible here to meet these rays so in this case what we do when we proceed these two rays in back then it appears to meet at point behind the mirror and at this point virtual and erect image of the object is formed so this is only one case in which virtual and erect image of any object is formed with the help of concave mirror and this image is magnified for you convenience once again i am giving you information that see in page 164 of ncert all the six cases are explained clearly so here is the position of the object see in last case what is given the object is between p and f 
C object is between P and F. What is the position of the image behind the mirror? C image is behind the mirror. Size it is enlarged. Size of the image is enlarged. And what is nature? Virtual enlarged. This image is virtual enlarged. So the synopsis of all these six six cases are tabulated in Table 10.1 of NCRT Class 10 Science Book. So, dear students, for your better learning, once again, I will suggest you to retrace these ray diagrams at least five times each for your better confidence. And after doing so, really you will learn what is the real way to trace ray diagrams of image formation with the help of concave mirror. One thing is also very important. To solve numerical problems, you must have the perfect idea of image formation. If you not learn it well, then it will be very difficult for us to solve numericals. So, today's assignment is that homework. Your homework is that draw ray diagrams of image formation of object with the help of concave mirror concave mirror and repeat it five times thank you thank you very much